Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Coffee Chat with Ryan Frank. So glad that you're here. Hope that you have your cup of coffee. Um, I've had a bit of a crazy morning, so it's 11 a.m. Eastern, and this is literally my first cup of coffee that I've taken like two sips out of. Normally about this time of day, I've had two cups of coffee in me already. So I'm excited to share my first cup of coffee with you. Good morning, Kidmen. So glad that you're here. Uh, we've had some wonderful conversations happening in the I Love Kidmen Facebook group. I spent some time earlier this morning scrolling through some of the, the uh, conversations that are happening. Thank you so much for being a part of that community. Um, hey, we've got a great lineup today. We're gonna talk momentarily to uh, Jordan Davis, who is no stranger to the Daily Coffee Chat. And we're gonna talk about a very timely topic today, and that is uh, helping families and helping your kids really navigate um, the hurt of, of, the, of, of what we're experiencing today, especially with all this racial divide and tension that we have going on in the world around us. Um, also, we're going to hear from Uncle Charlie and Brandon Russian is going to be with us. Excited about that conversation as well. So good morning, good morning. Uh, this morning, as I was driving in and thinking about the conversation that we are going to have, 2 Corinthians 5, uh, 18 kept coming back to me. And if you've not read 2 Corinthians 5, 18 in a while, really verse 18, 19, 20 we, if, of 2 Corinthians 5, there's this word reconciliation that keeps surfacing. Reconciliation. And in verse 18 of 2 Corinthians 5, it says this, that, all of this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ. Now let's pause for a minute. And aren't we thankful for that, that we have been reconciled to God through Christ? The most ultimate reconciliation that can take place happens when a sinner is reconciled to God through the person and the work of Jesus Christ. But then beyond that, it gets a little more practical. It, it says this, it says that we have been reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. And then verse 18 says that God has given us the ministry of reconciliation. We have been given this great ministry, this ministry of reconciliation. Now, Reconciliation is more than just salvation. I think you see salvation there um, when we come to Christ, when a sinner gives his life to the Lord, we, that, we are reconciled. But really what reconciliation is, is it's a total change in a relationship. Um, when you are reconciled with someone else. And here's the deal. Jesus reconciles us to God, but then he gives us the ministry of reconciliation. Did you realize that as a Christian, that that is one of your ministries that God has given you? He has given you the ministry of reconciliation. And if there is ever a time when the church can step up to the plate when we can be a voice for injustice, when we can demonstrate a love for people that are different than us, that look different than us, that sound different than us, if there's ever a time that we can demonstrate that and really practice this ministry, it's today. It's today. Um, we grieve over all the injustice that's happened in these recent days. Um, and we are heartbroken over it. Um, and, and I am more committed today than ever before of having these conversations. Not because I'm comfortable with it, because trust me, I'm not. Um, I, 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 am, I am really introspecting and looking inside of myself at, um, am I loving people the way that I should? Is there any 
bias within me that I need to confess? What can I do to help my girls at home love everybody and stand up for what's right? What can I do as a pastor and ministry leader? So we're, we're, we're announcing maybe as soon as tomorrow, definitely early next week, we have shifted our, our programming for Global Kidmen Day that happens August 8th. A lot of you have already signed up as to be a host for Global Kidmen Day, which we are glad. Um, a lot of you are planning on participating in Global Kidmen Day on August 8th. If you've ever heard of Global Kidmen Day, stay tuned because I'll be talking more about it. But instead of just talking about the importance of children's ministry and the nuts and bolts of children's ministry and partnering with parents, we're going to talk about some of these issues, um, like how do we help kids deal with racial injustice? How do we help kids stand up for what they know is right? Not because I have all the answers or we have all the answers, um, but because we know it's the right thing to do. And I've said a lot lately, if we're connected on Facebook or Twitter, or you watch, you absorb much of my content, you've heard me say that if there's anything you can do, it's just speak from your heart. You don't have to know all the answers. You don't have to worry about getting it exactly right. What matters is that you're speaking from your heart, that you're speaking from your heart. Um, so don't overthink it. Jordan Davis is with me. Jordan, why don't you jump on here as leaders, as Christians? We know what's right, but I don't know, for some reason, it, it's the topic is intimidating. And I, I think maybe we're just afraid of saying the wrong thing or um, I don't know, but I feel like it's time to stop overthinking it and just speak out of a heart of love and do what you know is right yeah. and be the voice of truth. Yeah, I definitely... Uh... I said, this is, and it sounds bad, but I think we've become, we're, we're feeling things different. I think this time for, for lots of different reasons, but uh, my wife so. and I dropped off a couple, one of our kids yesterday and we drove through downtown Cincinnati to head toward Kentucky and, and you mm -hmm. feel these cities, you know, Indianapolis has been really bad where I'm at. Uh, Cincinnati has been really bad. And uh, yeah. I could just see like passing through there. We passed through there a lot and there is changes physically to that community. And yeah. Uh, my wife and I had, you know, been in a car for a while yesterday. We we're talking about, um, you know, just our kids. And we were listening to a, a really good interview, no matter where you believe theologically of, of Stephen Furtick and John Gray did a really good interview uh, this weekend. And, you know, I've got to listen to that because my mom texted that to me and she said, oh, you've got to listen to it. And, and Ryan, here's what got me is uh, Steve Furtick is talking about his kids and how they heard about this news before he, that he did. And mm -hmm. so they're, they're emotionally torn and they're feeling bad. And my wife and I both looked at each other and said, what did our kids do? They did nothing. Yeah. And, yeah. and what's really got me is we've taught our kids right from wrong. We we're in a more of a multicultural place, community, those kind of things. And they know not what to say, but they don't know what to say. And so they're silent. So when they've seen these news stories, they're not saying anything. Well, you're and right. You're right. Got me overnight. I've woke up all night just thinking about that. Well, you told me you woke up at 430 this morning. Yeah. And it was just really heavy on your heart. I think this is something Beth and I have been talking about as well, because um, with our girls, we really, we're trying to have some of these conversations with them. And we, we told them the other day, um, you know, don't forget, remember the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, um, that fiery furnace, Daniel, I think it's Daniel 3. Um, and here, everybody, everybody is bowing their knee to um, Nebuchadnezzar's statue, his golden statue, except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They choose to stand up and do what's right, even though no one else was standing. And I think Beth and I, you know, have been, we've been praying this for our girls, but then we're trying to have some of these conversations that well, this is what we want for you, that you will do what's right even if nobody else is, you know what's right and you are gonna do what's right. And boy, I don't know, yeah, I, I think these are great conversations to have. And I think it's, I think there needs to even be more resources created in the weeks and months to yeah. come for kids pastors like ourselves to really have these conversations with mom and dad 
yeah. and really resource them to have these conversations. Well, and, and teaching that we have to say something because saying nothing hasn't worked. You know, King, yes. uh, all the great quotes that have been uh, from Martin Luther King have been shared this week. And that's yep. the one that's hit me the hardest is the same thing as in the end, we will not remember the words of our enemies, but we'll remember the silence of our friends. And so where's the church in that? So in that sense, the church has been silent for many years for most of us, especially yeah. churches that are so scared to say anything. Yeah. And so we've in, in, and are not saying anything we have, you know, helped the problem, help the problem. Really. We've, we've been part of the cause. Well, you're right. And yeah. you wonder at some point is our silence, has it been worse than the hate that's been out there? It's, it's pretty measurable. If you think about yeah. it, man, that's, that's pretty convicting too. Yeah. So Jordan, I know at noon today in an hour here, less than an hour now, you're going to be doing a, a Zoom or some kind of broadcast with your congregation. Mm -hmm. You're going to talk about this. You're going to talk about, are you addressing parents yes, primarily? Yes, today so we are. Tell us what you're going to talk about. So today, I'm, uh, you know, every kid's lesson has got to have an object lesson, but I'm using avocado today that I cut All this right. morning. And I'm talking about how to get to the inside of the fruit, we have to go through the hardness. And, you know, this avocado was super hard this morning at 4 30, 5 o'clock when I cut it. But now it's began to get soft because it's been open. It's been open to the environment, open to the element. And I'm talking to our parents at how they can't be afraid to have this conversation. They have to cut through that hard skin and get to the fruit to where the, the true part of this can be revealed. And how that if they just teach their kids to love God and love others, everything else, we're so scared to, to have the deep conversation. Well, though, we're, so we're not having the conversation at all. So we at least have to cut through the, the baggage, the excess to get down to the fruit and God's going to take care of the rest. You know, yeah. let's just get down and encourage our kids to love everybody, love God, love others. And that's all we have to do right now. And that's really good. And that's a great object lesson too. Um, yeah. Don't overthink. And I love that because that gets just super simple for mom and dad. Yeah. Just we can teach our kids and cultivate this, atmosphere that in our home we love god and we love people yeah we love god we love people and we just keep hit beating that drum beating yeah. that drum and then find practical ways to not just say it but actually let's do something to show that we love god and that we love people yeah and that ought to work and not be scared i mean like even for us doing these things today we've been so careful because we're a medium to larger size church and you gotta yeah. you feel like you're stepping on eggshells and and we can't mm -hmm. do that we've got to just tell the truth speak the truth in love that's what we have to do yeah. and you know what god's going to take care of the rest he is he is i love that jordan thank you before we wrap up tell us because before we went live you were filling me in uh your vbs starts Sunday or Monday, right? Monday, Monday. Monday. So yeah. for, every, for those that are um, watching or listening, tell us what your VBS is going to look like. So we're doing obviously everything virtual. Our church is not open yet. Um, and so we have a 9 a.m. preschool time all next week. That'll be about yeah. 30 minutes. We're using the Orange Focus um, VBS. And it's been great because a couple of the community centers here have been able to um, share this. And so they're going to be, we're sending craft boxes to them. They're doing these with their kids during the day. And then at six o'clock is we're calling the main event as our elementary kids. But we're also inviting our preschool kids back. And it's just about 15, 20 minutes longer than our preschool time. And it's going to be, you know, normal music and worship and some funny skits that we filmed. We got hours of filming that we're still editing. That's just just going to be a good time. But uh, we were talking about how we've I was worried that I didn't take up my full hour of of what we said. And, and we've shortened it a little bit and and you know, I think that's okay because people are zoomed out, they're fatigued, screen time is up. And so I would just encourage churches to do what you do and, and make the best of it. Yeah, I think you're right. And I hope it goes well. Um, you're doing preschool in the morning, yep. elementary at night, elementary in the evening. Um, yeah. passing out boxes this weekend. They're driving through to get yeah. their box. One thing that's really cool is as they drop off their box, we're partnering with a place here called Shepherd Community Center. It's a, okay. just a big outreach here. Um, some of their stuff um, is they're the ones using our, our curriculum during the day, but also taking in this food and just providing a cause. Cause usually we're all about the offering, raising this huge amount of money, but we really wanted to see, have the kids be able to see something physical and tangible this year. So we're trying to fill a van that'll be in our parking lot. So as they drop off their craft boxes and uh, something real quick that the shepherd, we did an interview with them to promo this week. And he said that he has found that, you know, a family that's kids have full bellies are way more likely to hear the gospel. Man, that's good. And that would really hit us. And so we did an interview with that this week and we've really been pushing that. Uh, we don't think about those physical needs 
but they're out there for sure. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, Jordan Davis is a great part of the Kidmen community, active part of I Love Kidmen Facebook group. If you've got a um, random idea, hey, I'm thinking about doing this, and you need somebody to bounce it off of that's not afraid to think big, send connect with Jordan Davis on Facebook. He'd love to brainstorm it with you and say, man, I think that's a sweet idea. Have you thought about this? He's a thinker. He's a big dreamer, big thinker, but not just a thinker and dreamer, but he, he likes to act and do stuff. So Jordan, I'm proud to be your friend. Thanks for being a part of the Thank you. Facebook group. And thanks for jumping on the coffee chat with me. Yeah, we'll see you. All right. Take care, bro. Thanks. All right. It's Jordan Davis. Friend request Jordan Davis. Find him on Facebook. He's part of the I Love Kidman Facebook group. He is a top class children's pastor. And um, I'm thankful to be his friend. So glad that you're here. Uh, hey, quick announcement. Quick announcement. Um, I want to let you know, I'm trying to find something on my screen. There it is. Give me one second. That we. All right, we have some new things on kidsmatter.com I want you to see. Um, we have three new games that were added last night. Um, these are all really sweet games. Focus. Now, we have over here, if you click more games, we have some bring to focus games right there. Orange curriculum for June and July. Your theme is focus. So these games are great add-on to the curriculum. This focus game is a similar kind of game where the kids have to um, see if they can identify the object as a the focus. Okay. So that game has several different versions of kids' guess. Some are easier than others. Bible trivia. You're going to see several editions of this Bible trivia. The first one on the website today is called Ten Commandments. This is super fun. Check this out. Welcome to Bible trivia. This time we'll be asking questions about the Ten Commandments. The first question for 100 points. On which mountain did God give the Ten Commandments? Was it A, Carmel, B, Sinai, C, Ephraim, or D, Ararat? I bet you know the answer. The answer is B, God gave the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. All right, so that's Bible, that Bible trivia. We've got like 10 of these editions of Bible trivia that are going to be hitting the site over the next several weeks. Candy bar trivia is kind of a random one. Um, just It's just basically what... Oh, the preview video is not on there. Okay, I need to work on... We need to work on that. What's that is another new one. Um, the Bible edition. got some great games uh now on the site um gift the bible new testament that's on this is only a couple days old a good one too. Um, also, our next guest, before you come on, I better give a quick shout out. If you go down here, well, let's go this way. Let's go up here to download categories. Let's go to teaching. 
and then let's go to teaching videos, you're going to see some great video content from Uncle Charlie. He's got some Mighty Minute object lessons and some Carlito videos that are super, super fun. Charlie, why don't you jump on here with us? So glad that you are here. Brandon Russian is also joining us in the coffee chat. And we're going to bring these guys both on at the same time, Andy. So all three of us are on the screen together. What's going on, Uncle Charlie? Man, it's good. It's good. How about you, Ryan? Man, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Life good is, deal, man. Life is good, but eternal life is better. You ever sing that song? <laughs> I think I know that song. <laughs> I bet you do. Good morning. Brandon, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Ryan? Good. I told Charlie this morning, we <laughs> I think we met at a children's pastors conference. We did. But I feel like it's been at least five years ago. It's been a while. Oh, it's been it's been a minute, but it's all good. Yeah. I think I, we were both I think we were both teenagers back then. We were. We were. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. No. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, thanks for being on the coffee chat. If you're watching on YouTube or you're catching this on the podcast or you're on Facebook, want to thank you for joining us on the coffee chat today. Failed to mention at the beginning that if you have a question, you can text it to the number right there, 833-792-6372. Um, Charlie, Uncle Charlie has been on the coffee chat in the past. Uh, you've seen some of his stuff on Kids Matter. He's been at Megacon. Uh, but Charlie, for anyone who's never met Uncle Charlie, take 30 seconds and tell us about your ministry and who you are. Well, for 15 years, I toured as Uncle Charlie, kids recording artist, um, hundreds of songs, you know, and have that kind of music legacy behind me. And since I retired from that, you know, uh, about five years ago, God has led me into another ministry to take care of of kids that are marginalized and kids that are overlooked and that kind of thing. So I created an app called VBG Valued by God. It's free for anybody who wants it for their kids. And I've, it's for kids that are fighting life's toughest battles. And I figure that all kids that are on lockdown right now are fighting a tough battle. Yeah. But really, the, the first intention was for kids with special needs and kids that are fighting battles. And so, and uh -huh. then from there, another ministry morphed called Carlitos, which I give to all kinds of hurting kids uh, across the country. Um, I just, love seeing the pictures pop up of kids literally all around. Oh, man. Um, yeah. Being blessed by that um, stuffed animal. I know, I right? I love it. It's a wonder what that animal can do, but it's not just the animal. It's what he leads them to, because his his basic verse is Joshua 1, 9, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged because your God is with you wherever you go. And it leads to his website where he talks to kids about Jesus. And that's the bottom line. Got to lead them to Jesus. They're all, they all have souls. They all need Jesus. And you know, I, I love it. You sent our girls at Carlitos several months ago. And I, I know I've texted you some pictures because especially Lily loves Carlitos. She dresses them up. She sleeps with them. And I was just, just uh, last week, Charlie, I didn't tell you this, but, I'm, but I said, you know, you love Carlitos, don't you? Yes. And I said, did you know Carlitos has a special need? Have you ever looked at his ear? Yep. And she had never noticed that one of his ears is different yep. than the other's. And it created a great conversation for us as a family. And that's what that's um, intended to do. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, now, Charlie said I'm supposed to call you B-Rush or something like that. <laughs> what are, is it C-Dog and B-Rush? Uh, C-Diddy and B-Rush. So C-Diddy and B-Rush? Yes. yes. So, Brandon, I, I feel horrible that all these years have passed and you and I have not stayed connected. So we've got to fix that moving into the future. Mm -hmm. But you tell us about that. your ministry. Tell us what you do. Oh, yes. Um, I have the opportunity to travel the U.S. and speak uh, to, to friends about Jesus and how much he loves them. And I also have the opportunity to bring a fun element. And I have characters from Hey Ya to Coach Bobcat to Safari Steve, who was my picture before I came on live, that mm -hmm. I get to kind of break down the walls with those characters. And we do interactions similar to some of the games that you guys put out on Kid, Kid Men, but yeah. we do interaction with them. And then that allows me to then come back as Brandon and share the gospel and the good word with everybody who's there. And I've had the opportunity to be, to be doing that over 20 years and all over, right. which is a blessing and uh, had the opportunity to team up with C Diddy because <laughs> Uncle Charlie and I used to do a lot together. And yeah. we, we came up with just little, little catch names like he was C Diddy and he was like well you're B Rush and uh, yep, we've had I lots love of great, it. 
lots of great things to do for the kingdom. And so that's I what it. I do. What's your website, Brandon? It's just brandonrussian.com. Okay, brandonrussian.com. And is you primarily speak to kids or teenagers or both? Yes. Well, I speak to everybody, but okay. you know, children's ministry is is huge, but we do a lot with the teens and we do a lot with families. So okay. we tell we tell everybody we want to come and speak to the least mature, to the most mature, and all in yeah. between. Yeah, I love it. Um, uh, the context of our coffee chat this morning, I was just talking to Jordan Davis. He's a kids pastor in Indianapolis at a great church. Um, in a little bit at noon, he's going to be doing a, a Zoom with their congregation. and He's going to be talking about helping parents help their kids through times of, of hurt, this hurt that comes with this racial divide. And I think we're all uh, feeling this. I don't know why. All, why we're feeling it more this time around, this injustice. I, and as much as I hate the, all of the rioting and, and that stuff, I, I'm thankful that we're at least having these conversations. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful that the church is really recognizing that we need to step up. At the beginning, you guys weren't on here. Charlie, you might have been, but I shared 2 Corinthians 5.18 mm -hmm. that says that um, that God has reconciled himself, or sorry, all of this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and then gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Right. And we, um, we were talking, Earl Jordan and I were talking about how do we help our kids really understand that they have a ministry of reconciliation and that they need, that they can stand up and do what's right. And that they can love everybody despite their ethnicity or their skin color or whether they live on a different part of town than they live in or they look different than them. It's, some, it's, it's conversations as a church that I feel like we need to be having more and conversations at home with our kids mm -hmm. that we need to be having more. <clears throat> uh, what do you think, Brandon and Charlie? Yeah, Go Charlie, ahead, Brandon. Tell everybody about how we met. And uh, I think that's the coolest thing because Charlie and I, if you can't tell, we're twins. <laughs> are you twins i i wondered if you were but i wasn't going to say anything yeah brothers from other mothers so, yep yep <laughs> yeah how'd you guys meet i'd love to hear the story go ahead you start me Russ, and then i'll finish that's okay all right so charlie and i were we were at actually at a, a conference called kids quest and okay. charlie was i was emceeing the conference which is mm -hmm. something that i get the opportunity to, to do a lot and charlie was 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 doing what he does and in, in leading worship and leading music and there was a, a magnetism. And yep. Charlie and I to this day still speak that that yep. magnetism was the love of Jesus. That's that right. That brought two, two gentlemen who are totally different from each other together. And as we got to interact through that conference, we, we really just felt like, hey, that guy may be six foot seven and a little bit darker tone than me, but I like him. And Charlie, I might've looked at him and said, Hey, that guy might have better hair than I will ever have. Yeah. But, yep. but I, I like him and I'm drawn to him. And I, even yeah, though, that's it. Go ahead, Charlie. Right. Brandon, that, that's so right. What, what connected us is our hearts, our hearts. God doesn't see the outside. As first Samuel says, God sees the heart. And so, you know, what, when, we, when we first met, I, I looked at Brandon as a person who had the same heart as me. And that automatically attracted us together as buddies. And we've been, we've been buddies ever since. I mean, we're mm -hmm. talking, what, 15 years or so at least, Brandon, I yeah, guess. It's right? been over, it's, it, at least, but I think it's, we're on going into the 20s, which has been really wow. cool. Wow. That, yeah. that makes me pretty old, Brandon. <laughs> but he, and here's a funny story. We recorded the song, This Little Light. It was played on your Super Saturday Kids show oh, yeah. a couple, yeah. couple of weeks ago about shining the light. Yeah. And that was Brandon and I taking turns. Believe it or not, I tried rapping. He really did rap. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but what was funny about it is when we were recording and we were trying to sing together, I had to stand on a step thingy to get up to the microphone and he's just standing there. He's trying he, everything he can to keep from laughing at me. But it was so funny because we are, we're so different in so many ways, but yet we're the same in the main way. And that yeah. main way is that we're created in the image of God, that God has given us dignity. God has given us a soul and that soul is important. 
and that we're both valued by God. Amen. Amen. And so that's what we need to teach our kids, you know, um, yeah. to 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 look at each other from from the inside they have value they have worth because god god created them and has a purpose and they may have things to offer us ryan that we we have brandon can do things that i can't imagine doing you know brandon can't imagine himself on a guitar doing doing what i do but i certainly can't imagine doing hey ya are you kidding exactly <laughs> you know? So yep. God, God, everybody has something to offer. Even even special needs kids have something yeah. to offer. So exactly. anyway, I just want to throw that in. Now, Brandon, do you have any kids at home? I do. I have two. I have two teenagers. We have a 17-year-old McKenzie and a 16-year-old Maverick. Okay. How have they responded to this whole, these, well, all know, these events over the last month or two? We've had, we've had conversations, and Ryan, you spoke to it so eloquently, because that's the biggest thing. We really have to have conversations, and the side that the, the verse that's just been truly ringing um, in our household has been James chapter 1, verse 19, and how we need to be, how we truly need to be quick to listen, mm -hmm. slow to speak, and yeah. slow to anger, and, and that has rung out through our household, fortunately, throughout this whole shelter in place, and you know, yeah. our, our new somewhat normal. And I think that's really brought us well because we've sat down and said, you know, how do you feel? And I really feel that we've been blessed because we choose to always look for the positive and where and what is God speaking in this as opposed to looking at the negative. Because we tell our children since they were little, you're going to find the negative if you look for it. Uh -huh. Choose to find the positive. Yeah. And so they truly have been looking for it. And so they've been reaching out to friends via FaceTime, via Zoom, and saying, hey, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. They've even been reaching out. And then they take time to listen to their friends. And I think that's what's helped us the most is having those conversations. Mm -hmm. I love that. And, you know, that takes a lot of the, the, the pressure off. I don't know. I feel like, at least for me, and I don't know that I'm alone in this, like I know I understand we're all one race. I understand we're all one family. Um, I get that. I hate the injustice. We, but yet the topic of um, of racial reconciliation, all that, sometimes it can be intimidating. And I think maybe for me, I don't want to say the wrong thing or say something the wrong way and offend somebody. But I think, I think what you just said is so valuable, and that is half half the battle perhaps is just listening, and right. then. Also, I love what we had Bishop Michael Pitts on the chat, coffee chat a couple of days ago. And he was like, you just need, don't overthink it. Just speak your heart. I mean, just speak what's on your heart. And if you are doing your best to walk with the Lord and you're loving people, you can speak on your heart. I think sometimes we don't talk about things like this, maybe because we overthink it. Yes. Instead of just listening and sure. speaking what's on our heart. That's true. We're, and we're afraid of the unknown, aren't we, Ryan? Yes. You know? And that's, that's common. You know what? It, it going doing the parallel here with kids with special needs for instance yeah when i first started to try to interact with kids with special needs i was scared to death i was scared and it was the fear of the unknown i didn't know what That's to right. say i didn't know what to say i mm -hmm. didn't know how they would react but you know what the, the joshua 1 9 verse really really applies be strong yeah. and courageous don't fear don't be discouraged because god is with you wherever you go and it says in Luke that he's going to give you the words that you need in that hour that you spend. As long good. as you're doing it with the, the, the right heart, like you said, Ryan. We have a, Charlie, I know we have a mutual friend in Craig Johnson at Lakewood Church who has a huge mm -hmm. heart for special needs ministry yeah. with his Champions Club. And I never forget one time him saying, and I've, and I've repeated it in training a million times, and that is with special needs kids and special needs ministry, it's... 20% uh, training, 80% love and acceptance. Exactly. And think, just what you said, Charlie, can't, like with special needs, it can be so intimidating. But if you understand that for, for most of these parents and families with special needs, if they just know that you love their kids right. and you accept them, those right. walls come down and you can figure it out together. Yeah, there's some training that needs to happen, but the training's about this part. Love and acceptance is the big part. Where amen, we, where amen. We, you don't have to have special training to be kind to somebody. Sure. Exactly. <laughs> yep, no doubt. Um, guys, wrap up with what would be, a, a, it doesn't have to be about um, 
racial tension or reconciliation, but just I'd love for both of you just to speak a word of encouragement or blessing over the children's ministry community, those that are listening or watching this today. Charlie, you want to go first? Just word of encouragement, and then Brandon, you share one. Definitely. I like what you said um, earlier in the in the in the coffee chat today, Ryan. You, you said, "Beat that drum, beat that drum." Yeah. Love God, love others, and I, I go back to that silly song that I sing. J is for Jesus. Yep. Put o Jesus is for first. others. Yep. yep. And Y I I is for you, you, you. Man, that song is going to be that song. That, that song's <laughs> going to be in my mind now all afternoon. I know it's going to haunt you in your you sleep, dog, huh? But the truth is there. Put Jesus first, others second, and keep yeah. yourself third. And I just think if we approach life with that attitude, whether it's dealing with somebody from a different race or a different culture even, um, or a kid with special needs that we know nothing about, you yeah. know what? Be, be Jesus with skin on. What yeah. would Jesus, I had to ask myself that, Ryan. I had to ask myself, how, what would Jesus do? And when I went to my first camp, what I thought Jesus would do is just go to them and have a conversation with them for crying out loud. So well, that they it. would know that they're noticed and loved and valued. And so yeah. I will say this in closing. When you show those things, love and acceptance and value, yeah, it's reciprocal. They come back. I mean, my goodness. And look at it. In the case with special needs, for instance, if they don't, well, maybe they're not able to. So don't take offense if they don't. You do the right thing. Mm -hmm. You do the right thing. It doesn't matter if it's reciprocated or not. But in most cases, it will be. I love it. Love it. And Charlie, your website. Um, tell, I know you have a few, but yeah. the one on tell us about your Uncle Charlie website and the special needs website. What are the domains? How do you get to them? Yeah, Uncle Charlie for the music, UncleCharlie.com. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. And for the uh, Valued by God, if you if you want the free app for your kids or know somebody that needs it, it's ValuedByGod.com. And then the Carlitos website is Carlitos4Kids.com with the number four, Carlitos4Kids.com. Love, Love it. And that Valued by God app is pretty sweet. Y'all need to check it out. Brandon, word of encouragement for everybody. You know, it, it goes back to the song of Jesus loving the little children. <laughs> All the little children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. And he was all about loving and relationship. And we need to have relationships. So get out there. And we all have, we all have times where we're a little nervous. Well, pray to him. Ha have him give you the power, his, his super, superpower that he can move you to places that you thought you never could get to. And when you have those conversations, friendships that you never thought could have, could come and, and relationships come just like uncle Charlie and I, I, I never could have dreamed of having a great friend like uncle Charlie, <laughs> but, but Jesus did it. And he brought us, brought us together in his, in his yeah. ways that only he can do it. So try it because we'll be rewarded. I love it. Brandon Russian, Brandon Russian.com. B-R-A-N-D-O-N. We'll put it in the comments. R-U-S-H-I-N. Gentlemen, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Ryan. All right, let's stay in touch. Appreciate it. Love you guys. See you, be rush. All right, yep. Well, guys and ladies and gentlemen, it's been a wonderful, wonderful coffee chat. Um, make sure to connect with these two gentlemen on Facebook and online if you haven't already, Brandon Russian and Charlie, and then stay connected with uh, Jordan Davis as well. Hey, if you have something you'd like to talk about in an upcoming coffee chat, or if you have a question for me, please text it to that number, 833 seven nine two six three seven two um eight three three seven nine two six three seven two also failed to mention that there are uncle a lot of uncle charlie's best songs can be found at kidsmatter.com i should have mentioned that earlier but if you go to download categories and then you go to programming videos and worship videos uh, you're going to see videos from several different uh, friends of ours, but look at a lot of these are Uncle Charlie songs, and I'm sure that the J is for Jesus is on here as well. So make sure to check out all of these great videos when you're on Kids Matter, and spend a few minutes and check out Kids Matter Pro. Kids Matter Pro. If you have um, hundreds of you have been using, probably thousands of you actually have been using Kids Matter during this pandemic for 
downloads to help you in your Zoom and, or pre-recorded services, well, new downloads are hitting the website literally every day. So you may consider going pro. Going pro is $19.95 a month. It's a monthly subscription, but we're gonna give you some great perks. In fact, um, the value of what you receive exceeds the $20 a month. You're gonna get a subscription to Kids Matter Magazine, print and digital when you join Kids Matter Pro. We're gonna send you three free downloads every month. Tomorrow, the brand new downloads hit. These are not downloads that are on the website right now. These are brand new downloads. Members of Kids Matter Pro receive them for free. So these alone are a $20 value, which covers the cost of your membership. And then I'm doing a monthly coaching call, a Q&A session, where I answer your questions. You can ask me about anything, budgets, volunteers, problem kids, problem parents. Multi-site challenges. Those of you that are bivocational, how do you balance your time and get everything done? Um, you can ask me about anything in our monthly Q&A sessions. Um, if you miss a Q&A session, we will we record them and email them to you so you can watch on demand. So I'd love to have you join me in Kids Matter Pro. If you've considered it, today is a great day to do it because tomorrow we email out the new downloads that are free to our Kids Matter Pro members. Just go to kidsmatter.com. There's a button right there at the top that says Kids Matter Pro membership. Or when you're on the homepage, scroll down to this bar right here that says going pro has perks. Friends, can't wait to see you tomorrow in our next coffee chat. Thank you, Andy, for running production. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Charlie, for joining me today. We'll see you tomorrow at the same time. All right, be blessed.